This investigation began in 2017 by state police when an individual with the initials DM came forward and made allegations against individuals that he had been sexually assaulted while he was a resident at YDC. Uh, that began uh, a approximately four year investigation from that point, uh, again focusing on 2019 <clears throat> when the Attorney General announced that there would be a task force that would be assembled to investigate allegations of sexual and physical abuse at the Youth Development Center during the period of the 1990s. As a result of that investigation, state troopers interviewed an individual with the initials MG. MG disclosed that while he was a resident at East Cottage, that the house leader and supervisor of the unit was the defendant, Brad Asbury. Given that this is a child who was placed in the care of this individual, one of the uh, sort of most vulnerable populations of children who were sent to this facility, they were sent there to be counseled, they were sent there to receive treatment, and instead, as I've explained to the court, they received nothing of the such, but rather received uh, horrific sexual violence. At this point, judge, I would